Hi everyone, I'm Nicole van der Hooven and this is day four of my week of testing with K6. Now in the previous video I had figured out how to get started with K6, the open source load testing tool, and um, how to run my first load test on it locally just on my machine. So the next thing that I want to do um, is actually be able to take those results and see them on the K6 cloud version. Now it's not running on the cloud just yet, it'll still say local execution, but it, that's just a great way to save your runs if you're running on your own machine or on your load generators. You, you're still going to be able to kind of pipe it to K6 cloud and get all the fancy graphs. How do I connect it to the cloud? Let's go to my cloud account here. I am going to create a new project. I'll say this is K6 OSS. Flip the coin. Create project. Skip. Okay, I'm going to start testing. Wait, what did, what did they say? Stream results or trigger cloud test runs for this project. Oh, I can specify the project ID and test name. So I'm just going to copy this whole thing and put it here. And then I'm going to use this project project ID and the same name. Okay, so it looks like um, in the docs here it says I need to log in to K6 Cloud. So I need a, um, some sort of token. So I'm going to click that. Of course, I'm going to change this token. So don't even bother trying to use this um, after this video is public. So what did it say again? K6 Login Cloud Token. All right. Easy enough. K6 Login Cloud Token. I'm going to paste that. Did that work? So now when I run the test, I have to do out cloud. Okay, cool. Let's let's try it. So now duration 60 seconds out cloud. Now it should generate some sort of oh here's the ooh, here's the output. That's kind of cool, huh? So let me go to that. Ooh, that okay that's pretty cool so what I'm doing here is I just started a test it's just one virtual user because I'm just testing and I have um, I think this is going to run for one minute and now I'm putting the results out on the cloud because um, that's it's just way better for sharing results oh there they are so now I can click on each one of these and then, you know, analyze the response times and stuff. So even when you choose to run your load tests on your own infrastructure, you can always pipe those results to K6 Cloud. The advantage of that is that it's a lot easier to share. Um, it's hard to, you know, send your manager the login details to a jump box that then goes on to a load generator. Instead, you could just send this one dashboard um, and it's just a great way to communicate the results. So the next thing I want to do is recreate a very specific load profile that I have in mind. A very common one is the stepped load profile where you're usually the goal is to try and figure out how the application responds to differing levels of users. Ideally, you just imagine a, a, an actual like stairs um, where each step represents a stage in the load test. So I'm the most familiar probably with, with JMeter as an open source load testing tool. And this is what that would look like in JMeter. So I've got three steps here. Now I'm using quite low numbers here. This is just one user per step. In a real load testing scenario, this could each step might last 
maybe 30 minutes and then you add on maybe 100 users each time. The idea is to add in the users and then hold that as a steady state for a certain amount of time so that you get a chance to see how the application responds to it. And then at the end of the test, at the very top, you're going to be able to see a graph that kind of hopefully corresponds to these changes in user level. So maybe uh, the application can handle 900 but not 1,000 users, for instance. So in JMeter, I would use a plugin for this. It's called Ultimate Thread Group, and I won't take you into exactly how to do it, but um, you just add rows, essentially, and you can set at each step of the way how, how many users to add and when exactly to start. Now, K6 doesn't have a user interface, at least the uh, actual open source tool doesn't, even though the SaaS platform K6 Cloud does. But if you want to recreate this, I think I've found a way to do it. So I found this in the K6 docs. They're called scenarios. And um, each scenario has something called an executor. And there are different kinds of executors depending on what you wanted to do. So I think that what we need is this constant VUs one. So I'm going to go ahead and go into that. Um, and I'm basically just going to copy this and put it right into my script. So that was in the options section. So I already had this part here. So I'm just going to add that. Um, so the way that I think it works is that a scenario is kind of like a step, one of the steps on, on that profile. So I'm going to change this to step 01, um, start with one user. And then, oops, I, I can't use that, all right. And then I'm going to, I believe that one of the, one of the standard options for scenarios is the start time. Okay, so the first, for the first step, I'm not going to use that um, because I just wanted to start, all, well, it's only just one user, so that can just start. And for this kind of test, you would normally have this for an hour or more, depending on how many stages, how many steps you have. But I'm kind of doing like a reduced load test just to, just to see if I can set it up that way. So I'm going to do 15 minutes. Um, now this is the first step. I'm going to see, and then I'm going to add a second one. And this is, instead of starting with one user, I'm going to put add one user. Now for this one, let's go back to that step. So we've already, this was the first one that I already did. Now for the second kind of scenario here, for the second stage, I will want to wait a certain amount of time before it even begins. So I'm gonna say I want each of these steps to last three minutes. So I'm, I want the second stage to have a start time. Uh, wait, I think, let me just double check that it was, yeah, start time and then 10S, okay. So start time and I'm gonna say three minutes. Okay, so I wanted to start with three minutes, but then I have to change the duration. See, it's kind of the same way in, in JMeter, except that it's in seconds, see? Um, and it kind of changes with each step. You run that step for longer. So for the second step, you only have to run from here to the end, whereas from the first, you, you have an extra three minutes. So you're gonna have to keep changing it each step of the way. Um, at least that's how I think it should work. We'll see if it actually does. All right, so um, how many steps did I wanna do? Okay, so that's five. I mean, there's no right or wrong here. This is just like for learning purposes, really. Uh, this one is going to be, to, is going to start on the sixth minute and then 
doing some math here. All right, this is the fourth step. Now I'm adding another user. I add three to that one, so nine minutes. And I want that to continue to run for six more minutes. So as you can see, if you add up all of these, they should add up to 15. So this was essentially zero and 15, three and 12, and so on. So let me add a fifth one, just to see if that works. So that will be 12, and uh, for the last one, I just needed to run three minutes. So this is not adding on to the, the previous steps. So this is each scenario um, is kind of independent. All right, so I'm going to save this and uh, I'm just going to run it locally just to see if that works. Uh, this is called script.js. Oh, okay, so that's new. Okay, so that looks like it worked. So we've got the five, I just call them steps here. The first user, if I'm not mistaken, is already running. And then the other four are kind of just waiting. So it looks like this is counting down. So when this hits zero, it should start as well. Let me just kind of speed up this part so you don't have to actually wait for it. Okay, so it's now almost just under five minutes here. And the first one has been going for five minutes. And the second user started uh, at the three minute mark. So this looks like it's working exactly how I had planned. So I hope that was helpful. Thanks for sticking along with me on my week of learning or week of testing. And see you in the next one.